So who are you? Uh, I'm Ryan with Rambo. So we're the mountain bike organization that takes care of the, the trails here at Big Creek Park. What are some of the new things you have coming? Cause this is the first park that I came to. And I think that you're remembering when I first started mountain biking and I, I sucked really bad and I was doing, but now things have changed. And you were talking about putting more progression things here when I feel like this is a park that has more progression than 90% of the parks I've been to. Yeah, so we have a few things that we're looking at right now. Uh, we're looking at building an intermediate line called Hawkeye 2 to be another flow line, uh, much like our big jump trail here at the park. The other thing we're looking at doing is building uh, a new alt line off of our lunch line trail called uh, Extra Credit. So that'll be another uh, way for folks to get familiar with the trails without the, uh, the craziness of some of our other trails. The other thing we're looking at is right behind you, we're going to do a new jump line mm -hmm. uh, that's going to be bigger than our uh, expert jump line here. So it'll be a set of uh, large tabletops about 20, 25 feet in length maybe about six to eight feet high. So really get folks ready for our Hawkeye Trail, uh, which I know is one of your favorites. Oh yeah, definitely one of my favorites now. Like I've been, I remember struggling to clear it and now I can over jump every one of them. Yeah. So it's actually really exciting. If people wanted to reach out and get more information about the park, how would they do that? You can reach us on Facebook at uh, Rambo MTB mm -hmm. uh, or uh, rambo-mtb.org. It's the best way to get, get at us. And really, you know, with Big Creek Park, it's about the progression to your point. And it was fun to see you start early in the way back uh, with your squid days. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but look at you now. Oh yeah, now it's a different game, and, man. It's a lot of park yeah. trips. And it's not just folks like you, it's folks who, uh, it's the young kids who are coming in that sort of seven, eight, nine, ten, mm -hmm. all the way through 13 to 15. We see them come in at that age, and then within just a year or two, they're ready to go oh, big. Yeah. They're ready to go to places like Wind Rock and Bailey Mountain oh. and and, uh, and beyond. Yeah, those are so big. This is a this is a great place for them to learn and get the confidence. But we also have a great social scene, yeah. um, which is one of the things I think that uh, kids who aren't in interested in the big sports like soccer and football and others, this is a great place for them to come and enjoy and, and meet others who are like-minded. Yeah, man, I totally agree. I love this park. I don't go anywhere else when I come to Georgia besides here yeah. uh, in Jared's place. Jared gave you a big shout out in my yeah. last video that, um, Everything you guys have going on here is like a progress, uh, a great progression for jumps and stuff like that, which yeah. lead up to some of the crazy stuff he has. When was the last time you were at Jared's place? Uh, actually, believe it or not, I haven't been yet. Um, I know, oh, it's, I know, it's I need real. to go. It's getting bigger. I would I go now before the things get any bigger. He's been moving the lips back, yeah, and he cut off the lip with a drop, and then yeah. he put the other one at an angle. Like, well, that's the thing. <laughs> that's the thing is like between our between Big Creek and uh, and Jared's place, it's a, it's that great progression. So. Oh, yeah. And, and the guys who are excelling at Jared's place now were squids here, right? <laughs> they learned here and they had a chance to, uh, to build yeah. their skills and confidence and be able to go to a place like Jared's. What's great about Jared's is he's in a private park, right? It's private land. We're in a city park, so we have to have, we have a little bit more risk and liability we have to maintain in, in partnership with, with the city. Yeah. So it's that responsibility that, uh, that we have to maintain. And that's why I think Jared's place is awesome. Oh, for sure. What are your personal two favorite features here? My favorite is uh, is the bowl that uh, Ethan built, Ethan Quell uh, built on Honor Roll. I love the 180 degree, we call it the toilet bowl, yeah. um, but that just flows so well. It's just that nice double right into the big left hand berm. The other thing I love is our Typhoon. Typhoon yeah. is unlike anything that's in this close to Atlanta, Six what six seven foot drop off a of typhoon I think oh, the yeah. rock it's like, I, yeah definitely yeah. the distance it might yeah. yeah probably like seven foot yeah yeah it's a beautiful it's yeah. a beautiful run in and it's just something unique that again that progression when you're ready for it mm -hmm. it's there so what was it um last week you had a build day and you built the berm back up. We just the finished the berm on Typhoon this morning. So that berm is running right. Like you can go in there hot. You can no go problem. in there hot. Yeah, so it's it's a couple of feet deep are, now. Are you clearing the on the right side the double to the dead tree gap? Uh, no. <laughs> when the kids said earlier, I was like, yeah, we can do that. Yeah. And he was like, boom. And I was like, that's something you didn't. I didn't have to. That's that works great though. That berm's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Are you? Um, it looks like you guys are built that berm, or you can carry a lot of speed through it. Looks like you guys are gonna do some more work down that trail. A little bit. There's another berm further down we want to do. Uh, some guys have cited some ideas down there. So we love getting the input from riders who are at that level and that skill set and say, hey, have you thought about this? Have you thought about that? And we take that input and we go and do it. Sure, right? um, so we do it in a safe way. So one of the other things we just opened up was uh, El Scorcho, which was a, uh, for the guys who know, the Zesty Boys uh, yeah. were out here. Uh, and uh, so we worked with them to, uh, to put in, uh, re, kind of redesign El Scorcho to be a lot more friendly. Mm -hmm. Definitely a nice progression trail um, mm -hmm. if you're interested in that. So definitely go check that out. All right, well, hey man, thanks for all your work. Thank you. It's been amazing having a place to go from being a squid yeah. to more experienced rider. And like you said, everything's always super friendly. People are always friendly here. There's always a welcome hand. Yeah. Everybody um, is always polite. It's always family oriented. People. Everybody every chips in. Everybody that's chips what's in. so cool. Is, it's is amazing. Anytime we need a shovel to dirt, it's everybody's like, yeah, what do you need? 
Yeah. That's what's awesome is everybody understands. We don't have to say no dig, no ride because everybody comes and digs. Oh yeah, for sure. So that's what's a big part of it. All right, well, so, thanks, Ben. We'll see you around. Thanks so much. Yeah. Coming in hot. You can see him just cruising today. He's a very agile rider. Here he goes. Oh, pedaling, pedaling. Hey, man. That was a nice save, bud. Yeah, I'm it out. Sort of. Good shot, dude. 